Howdy folks, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at what the engine cores on the ship The Pillar of Autumn, on a mission the mall, look like in anniversary graphics. So, these cores that I speak of are at this part of the mission the mall in the engine room. We are supposed to open these, uh, the engine shields or pistons or whatever I think they were called. Um, and you're supposed to throw a grenade or a rocket inside. But, if you go towards the core in front of it and take a closer look, you'll see that the core is actually just a little ball of light there in the center with a little background to it. But let's see what this actually looks like in anniversary graphics instead. But before we get into that, I want to first give a big shout out to my sponsor, Instant Gaming. If you are in a market for some cheap games or great deals on other games, then look no further than Instant Gaming. Here you'll be able to find great deals on many of your favorite games across numerous platforms, so if that's something you're in a market for and want to help support my channel in the process, then feel free to check it out via the link in the description below. Alright, so, to take a look at what it looks like in anniversary graphics, we're going to do this on MCC first, so that we can see it in the glorious 4K HDR. <laughs> Um, and then later we'll get a closer look at it with mods, but uh, first MCC. So, in classic graphics, there's the glowing uh, engine core again, and then anniversary graphics, if we look very closely, now if you're far away, like standing on the, uh, the beams that pull back and you fire a rocket in, you're probably not going to notice it, because uh, from far away it's kind of covered up by the light in the background, but if you get close enough like where we are here, you can see that the core in anniversary graphics is a black cube. So, for those of you who've watched a lot of my videos in the past, um, particularly within the past few years, that might sound familiar to you actually, because in anniversary graphics on Halo 1, if you spawn in the engineers, they're like a cut um, AI in Halo 1 that were brought back in ODST, uh, if you spawn them in anniversary graphics, they're also just a black cube. And then we can see here, if we use a fly cam to get up close, it definitely is a black cube. It's not just some black square or anything in the background. It is indeed a black cube. So, what are black cubes in Halo 1? Well, black cubes spawn in whenever something in anniversary graphics, um, whenever something in classic graphics doesn't exist in anniversary graphics. So, like with the engineer, you know, in Halo 1, you could spawn in the engineering classic graphics just fine and they look just fine as it, they were intended to but obviously in anniversary mode because the engineer never actually spawns in in gameplay uh, when a uh, saber remastered this game I guess they they didn't feel it was necessary to actually make a remastered model of the engineer in um, in Halo anniversary because no one would ever see it without modding at least so that is why when you spawn in the engineer, there was no remastered model for it or textures for it, so it just spawns in as a default black cube. But for some reason, the engine cores here, even though they're like a little glowing sphere there, they uh they actually never modeled it as um in anniversary graphics, and thus that's why it spawns in as a black cube. Now, you know, arguably you could say that almost nobody would ever see the black cube because most people don't get up that close to the engine core and zoom in uh, long enough to be able to notice the difference. But this is something that appears in gameplay, and people are bound to notice it. I mean, it, it's easy to miss, but it, it's strange that... I, I'm guessing they probably just forgot. It's one thing they missed or something. Uh, but I think in classic graphics, there actually is no model for this. I think it's like a blank model, and it just uses like an effect around it for the glowing. I think. Don't quote me on that. I... You know, I remember like browsing through the game files and something like that came up. But my guess is that because there was no model, maybe they thought the same thing would be the case in Anniversary, and as it turns out, it just became a black cube. But I'm not exactly sure, or maybe they just forgot to um, do an Anniversary model for it. Because it would have been pretty simple to do, I'm guessing, but for some reason, they did not have a model for it, and as a result, we get a black cube. I believe, as far as I know, to the best of my knowledge, that's the only one that spawns in, like, in-game without modding. So that's probably the one thing they actually missed, uh, w whether it's you know by accident or intentional. But yeah, so hopefully you guys did find this video to be interesting. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, uh, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you all next time.